Hey, what's up? It's Chanel, and welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today's video is brought to you by NVNM Productions. Respect New Jersey or prepare for eternal combat. Now, right now, we're going to be blasting the cassette official version of Obscure and Obscene Gods by the Mighty Altar of Gore. This is the NVNM tape. And here is the promo cassette. This is an advanced copy of Altar of Gore's debut album, Obscure and Obscene Gods, to be released by NVNM in late 2019. So I went to this show with Fetid and Cerebral Rot, got the tape. The Acolyte of the Foul Ones himself sent over the official copy. I grabbed a reissue of the demo at this show. Number 2 out of 25 and continuing with that awesome tradition for the new demo, Infinite Visions of Violence. I have number 10 out of 50. Hails to NVNM. Hails to Altar of Gore, but this is not about the kings of the cassette NVNM and Altar of Gore as this is a first look, first listen video, although I know we're having some problems with my microphone setup and stuff, but we're going to be checking out the Nameless Graves and NVNM collaboration for the vinyl version of Obscure and Obscene Gods. There is the Acolyte of the Foul Ones himself. And this is straight up just barbaric East Coast death fucking metal. Nameless Graves Records 019 released under license from NVNM. If you don't know what NVNM stands for, I suggest contacting Altar of Gore at gmail.com. But uh all instruments recorded by Joe Aversnio in early 2019 in the bowels of the dungeon with no end. One of my favorite recording studios. Vocals and effects recorded by TG in late 2019 at the Alitian Observatory. Mixing lead guitars and logo by Aversnio. Layout by TG. Mastering by Andrew Lee. Cover art by Taylor Smith. Oven zine. Photo taken by R. Skull. I love that photo because I love that Morbid Angel release. And the cover art is just amazing. All the art is amazing. And the Acolyte commends all of them for their contributions. Warhead and SSK. You might know SSK from like Siege Column. But uh, we're completing the live lineup. Alex Sadat and Mike Goncalves for their steadfast support of this project. Hell yes. It doesn't get much better, in my opinion, than Altar of Gore when it comes to modern American death metal, but it's more like rooted in East Coast death metal meets Titan Blood. It's awesome. Like, that's the vibe I always got from Altar of Gore, and I just love it. And it sounds amazing on vinyl. Plain black vinyl, the way this should be. The only other color that would be acceptable that wouldn't be a picture disc, I think, would be red, obviously. Or, like, some kind of red splatter would look sick. But having the art on the B-side looks fantastic. Very professional layout, just straightforward, right to the point, just the way Altered of Gore's barbaric 
style of death metal happens to be. And when I say barbaric, I'm not talking, you know, what some of you folks know as caveman shit. No. This is the complete opposite. This is the real deal. Now I know you can't hear that as well as it sounds, but massive. I love how the LP sounds and it just makes the record all the more enjoyable that I can just read along with the lyrics and whatnot. And I could, you know, beforehand, but still it's just a little bit sicker. And I'm proud of, you know, Altar of Gore for getting the vinyl treatment alongside their brothers and Blasphematory who got the vinyl treatment through Nuclear Winter Records. For Depths of the Obscurity and, again, Well Earned. one of those bands that I know not everyone has copies of because the stuff is limited. Like, for example, the demo reissue, I have number two out of 25. 25 copies of the uh, promo for the full length. 50 copies for the last demo. So, NVNM, you know, keeps stuff kind of limited and whatnot, and this, I don't know the numbers on it, but if you're a fan of Altar of Gore, essential. Links will be in the video description. Seriously, this is some of the best East Coast death metal in the scene right now. And if you can get it on 12 inches of wax, why not? So sick. I, I love this record. And it's awesome, you know, like, because you can compare it. Like, all right, like, let's compare it to the cassette. I love doing that type of stuff. It's just fun. But I wanted to give you folks a proper... Because I didn't want to do legitimately three separate reviews on the same record. But I feel like every year you need to be reminded about Altar of Gore and VNM and especially with the new Altar of Gore material and the new Blasphematory material. You need to be in the know and going over the vinyl is the best way I could possibly think of for those of you that are new to the channel. New to Altar of Gore, check out the demo, Obscure and Obscene Gods, Infinite Visions of Violence, and hopefully you enjoy as much as I do. Nameless Grave Records handled the vinyl, licensed by NVNM. Altar of Gore and their debut full length, Obscure and Obscene Gods essential. I'm 
not just saying that either. I, I mean it. And as always, thanks for watching. You fucking rule. Tails. Let's get those numbers up, folks.